This tutorial provides an example of GCF factory. The sample problem is on the screen. We have three kinds of terms in this problem. Constants, x plus 2 bases, and 2x plus 1. We need to look at each pair separately to determine the GCF. For the constants, we can factor out a negative 4. For the x plus 2 terms, we identify the one with the smallest exponent, in this case the negative 3. So we can factor out x plus 2 to the negative 3. We look at the next pair of terms, the 2x plus 1. The one with the negative one-third exponent has the smallest exponent. We'll factor that out. Now that we've found the GCF, we have to figure out what remains from the original problem after we have removed the uh, GCF. We have to take each grouping of items and divide it by the GCF to find what is left. So here we're going to take negative 8 divided by negative 4. x plus 2 to the negative 3 divided by x plus 2, negative 3 will cancel out. And 2x plus 1 to the 2 thirds divided by 2x plus 1 to the negative 1 third, we subtract the exponents. So the leftovers for this first term are 2 times 2x plus 1 to the first power. Now we proceed and do the same process for the second grouping of terms. 4 divided by negative 4, x plus 2 to the negative 2 divided by x plus 2 to the negative 3. We're going to subtract the exponents and again the 2x plus 1. That gives us the second leftover. The only thing we have the 4, we get the negative 1. We have an x plus 2 to the negative 2 minus a negative 3, so first power, and this term canceled out. The next step is to simplify the leftovers, so we'll distribute the 2 and distribute the minus and combine the like terms. And we get 3x once we've simplified the leftovers. The last step is we need to take the negative exponents and move them to the denominator to become positive exponents. And also what's, what's left on the top was negative 4 times 3x. We can combine those into 12x and I move the negative sign to the front. Hope this tutorial helps.